Hello everybody and welcome to Innocent Just Plays Battle Brothers with the Brothers United. Last time we kind of got, well, our company got killed by the weasel guy. I forgot his first name. Hoggart the weasel. Uh, but we, we kind of bounced back. We have six men in our company right now. Now let's go back to Schattenflut to see if we can, if they finally found out where the weasel is hiding. There's another company over there as well. I can't really get any info on them. Free pause. A free merchant company traveling the land and lending their swords to the highest bidder. That's hired by B Bolastet. Let's not mess with them. It's becoming dark again as well. Torvald the merchant is pacing back and forth when you find him. The hill who down near killed you with a fire poke is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Drovel the merchant claps his hand. Finally, you got half good news. With one of the Hogger's foremost men, my good friend here, had a nice little talk with the men, and now I know where Hoggard's licking his wounds. The healer clears his throat, splaying his fingers out like a maiden looking to paint them. He speaks as though he's identifying a disease he's about to exercise. Brigand known as Hoggett is hiding in a small hut in the tundra to the east of here. Based upon my most civil discussion with one of his men, Hoggett knows that Brothers United is on his heels and will have gathered more men since last time you met him. Nodding, drove the merchant way shot. Good luck, Salsword! Or return with his hat. So, where exactly is he hiding? Over here in the forest. Oh, let's go that direction then and see what we can find out. Is our, is we had one guy who was yeah, he's he's lightly wounded. He has 44 out of 53 hit points, so I think we should be fine. But we do might want to wait until it's like daytime again, so we don't have to fight in the dark. Uh, we don't know what Hoggard is hiding in this ha refuge. I hope it's not too many men. Hoggard the weasel. So it's becoming dawn, so let's 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 just camp a little bit and wait until like midday, which is now. All right. All our guys are, and that he's also completely healed, so that's also awesome. All our guys are ready. Let's go. Go, go, go. A few brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. And the brigand poacher is probably Hoggard himself. A human is no match for an adult orc physically. Well, it makes a lot of sense. So right now we can't... hit him yet. One, two, three, four, five. But now we can... We have a 51% chance to hit this brigand tuck. Dang it, we missed. All right, now we can't reload because that takes too many actions, points. I uh, would say step back a little bit because I have a feeling they will come close to us anyway. So this is the guy, the poacher, and he has a bow and an arrow. We can do a quick shot for 4 AP, which means we can fire twice. Or an aim shot for 8 AP. How much chance does a quick shot? Only 90. So let's go for an aim shot on the talk over here. Dang it, we missed again. But he missed as well, so that's good. So we can either wait a turn or end our turn. And since they still have to move, they're probably coming closer to us. So maybe if we wait, we can actually hit them uh, as well. You are too far away, I guess, anyway. So let's move here. Let's move you that direction as well. And 
And that's the fifth guy. Move you up. Alright, so now we have Kirsten again. And if we move here, indeed, we can still hit him. Oh, and he's wavering because we are surrounding him, I guess. He's a, he's a little bit of a fraidy cat. We hit him, did some damage to his armor and some of to his health. And that's the end of the turn. So we reload. We can shoot. But there's a chance we hit some of our own guys. So let's not. Let's move a little bit here. Raising a shield. 8% chance to hit this guy. Hmm. Those aren't great shots. So let's instead move something like this. Still not such great shots. But luckily he also misses. Alright, so we can do a round swing, which will hit both all, the, all of our guys as well. Let's not do a round swing. Or we can sp try to split a shield. With a 100% chance to hit. Maybe we can remove his shield. How much chance hit? We have a 47% chance or 62 at him. I think we should try and kill this guy first though. <laughs> we even chopped off his head. Well, I would say that is a success. His, this guy is now wavering a bit. Um, you're, you took some damage last time. So let's put up a shield wall a bit. And 69. 69% chance to hit. Ooh. I think his cap got destroyed because he lost his cap. The, let's hit him. You have a flail. Or lash. Aim for opponent's head. 100% chance to hit the head. But not a 100% chance to hit. So if we hit it will be the head. And the only thing it will build up more fatigue I think oh ignores the bonus that granted by shields but he doesn't have a shield so we might as well lash at him well I think we just kind of crushed his head a little bit can we hit something you can try to hit this guy yeah, it was bound to fail Can knock him back with a fail. Let's try it again. Dang it! Don't don't fail so much. Well, hit the poacher then. Also didn't succeed. You guys are disappointing me a bit. Yeah, we need to be careful with him. Put your shield back up. And thrust away at him. Ooh, he got a pierced chest. Now that doesn't sound like something you would want. Alright, so we can ignore the melee defense granted by shield. So, dang it. Still didn't succeed. Oh, this is Hogger the Weasel now. Ah, oh, this is just a brigand poacher. He traded his bow for a shield and sword. Interesting. Another head chopped off clearing. I like it. Uh, let's... Can we move? Yeah, we need to go towards that poacher as well. Put your shield back up. And you're too much fatigued to do anything less, so let's end it there. Put you there. Uh, there's a chance we hit our own guy. We don't want to do that, so let's move a little bit around. 
Let's see if we can chop off Hoggard's... Well, let's let's chop down his shield first. That should make it a lot easier for us to hit him. There's a chance we hit our own guy, but it's not large enough for me to worry that much about it. So he doesn't have a shield anymore. So that means we bust it. He broke his nose. And the second time... I don't think anything really happened. But let's just lash out at him. Put up your shield. Because we don't want you to die. That That's more important than getting killed quickly, I think. You have to kind of protect him a bit right now. Still not a good shot. Nope. No hit there. But now that his shield is gone, we should <laughs> chop off his head. And we can't stand there. But let's move up a little bit anyway. I don't think there's much you can do now, Mr. Archer. We got this from here. Move there. It's wavering already. Pull you back so you don't die. Fortunately, he missed with his flail. Reload. But then you're gonna end your turn. You're gonna end your turn. Is there any spot we can stand? Uh, there. Let's see if we can stun him. Knockout. 75% chance to stun on a hit. And now he's stunned. That should be a good thing. Flail at him. And there he goes. We took some wounds, but I think we did really well in this battle. And we got some nice loot. Oh, that's a pretty good piece of clothing. Oh, and a nice uh, falcon. Nice sword. I like that. Hoggard lies dead in a pool of his own blood, skewered into a grotesque and panicked pose. He didn't weasel his way out of it, this one. You put a boot on his corp and look to your man. For the company! For all the men who've fallen! Crystal hurled the fearless spits on the dead man's face. Let's take the boss's head and get back to Shadowfoot. Time to get paid. So let's go back. Well, we also had a level up on two doubles. So let's level him up. So he got two stars in melee skills, but only got a three. So I kind of assume that it's a bad roll. But let's also get some melee defense. And some resolve, I think, would be nice. And we can select a perk with him as well. And I, th I think that student is probably the best for everybody. All right. And we now have some of our stars dashed some equipment so let's see you have well probably the melee guy should go first and let's switch you around so these are the melee guys you got a pretty good armor piece already here your armor is only 55 50 and 30 so you definitely need a better piece of armor so let's get this one to you 50, 55, so you can get the Gambeson. And then we have a Falcon. I think that's a pretty good weapon. So I really like this guy with his axe, but I think that a Falcon might be more in my style, like a sword and board. Yeah, I, th I think I like this. It's a completely different skill use of his skills we can't chop down the shields like we did last time but i think this will be fine so let's get back and get our 400 crowns which is pretty much doubling our uh, current uh, current money let's speed it up and long the travel guess i heard the fearless joins your side i got a moment captain you not for him to speak his mind the battle has left some gear for worse or for wear, and some men got quite a good nickname too. 
We can patch up both men and equipment while marching, but it's a lot faster to sit there and do it. Of course, if we make camp, we should be wary of ambushes. Our campfire in these parts can be seen from every which way. Keep it in mind. So, if we camp, yeah, they will heal faster. That's interesting. Do we really need, like, only one of our guys is still injured and he will be only for a day, lightly wounded. The biggest thing will be our equipment being damaged. Because this guy's cap got destroyed. Yeah, and it is only at 30% health. So we are using tools to, to fix everything. The company returned to the Shadow Flood as victors. Their heads held much higher this time. The brothers united are not the size that they once were, but they are still a force to be reckoned with, as Hogger learned in his final moments. You carry his hat in a sack that you empty in front of Torval, the merchant's feet. He jumps back, but the healer quickly picks the head up, stares at it, and nods. Torval, the merchant, approaches the brigand's bloody face and eyes it carefully. Yes, yes, that's his ugly mock, all right. Servant, pay this man his money. Coin in hand, you raise your voice to the man. As long as there's blood coursing through our veins, as long as we can hold sword and shield, there shall stand our company. All through the ram, people will know the brothers united. The man cheer, I can put his hands on your shoulder. You know well, Cap. No matter where you lead us, the man will follow you as a brother in battle. As brothers. So, I think we need to buy some more tools because we're running out of them. And of course, I, uh, there's no tools to buy here. Good. And there's no contract here either. But let's go to Bullstead because last time we were there, there was a contract. And I hope that is still the case then. We made some friends in this empire, I guess. So this one is really large. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towns against this one has four and this one has five. So if, if we have a choice, we want to get on the good side of these guys, I guess. But first we need to earn some cash. There are some tools to be bought here. 20 tools worth 200, but we have to buy it for 256. But I do think we really need it, so let's buy it anyway. Oh, it gets here and not added here. It's not what I expected, but okay, that's fine. I don't think we need any shields or weapons or armor right now. We still have some food for another four days. So, oh, we can sell some salt. Because it's worth 340, we, pay, we get 440 for it here. And it doesn't do anything else for us. So that's good. And let's see what this contract is about. You find Robert the Burgomeister studying a few maps on his desk. He throws a finger to the edge of one map and continues on to another. I need an escort for a caravan. But will it be dangerous? Of course. That's why I go to your cell sword. Are you interested? How many crowns are we talking about? Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine price for your work. You get 40 crowns in advance and another 150 when the job is done. That's not that much. We got 400 for killing horror. We need to pay more for this. No, do not push me too far. You are to receive 40 crowns in advance and another 150 when the job is done. Well, I guess I accept the offer. So we need to escort a caravan to Sexdorf in the south. Okay, accept this. Let's head out. Oh, we automatically go there. Oh, and it brings us to that part of the empire as well, which I kind of like. I want to hang around there more. Well, we are really slow with traveling, though. You feel good today. Ready to lead the Brothers United through any challenge to come. You gather the men around, kicking Carsten the Butcher to his feet and telling Heirich to finish scraping away the hairs on his neck later. When the muttering has subsided, you start to address them. What do you tell the men uh, what do you tell the men the company will do? So we can get the company back to a dozen men, it will make us a more formidable force and will allow us to make 
take a more profitable work or we need allies. Forging a bond of friendship will tr and trust with one of the towns will get the company better prices. More volunteers and more steady work. Hmm. Well, since we don't have that much money, I think adding another six men to our company will be a bit too much. So let's say we need allies. Get friendly to relations with a civilian faction. Increase relations with a civilian faction of one of the world's villages or towns to friendly by filling contracts, giving a faction settlement. Failing contracts or betraying the trust will lower your relations. Having good relations will get you better prices and more men to hire. But we're being attacked by brigands. Prepare for combat. Engage! So there are six men going at us. Let's see, we can shoot a bolt. I want to hit the guy which I have the most chance to hit, which is this one. Of course, it still misses, unfortunately. But I have faith in my man. 38 chance, 38, 28. Let's hit him. Ooh. Beautifully killed. Good job, laddie. Good job. So we're gonna do the same thing like we did last time. We're gonna wait for a bit. Make them come to us so we might actually attack them. Okay, there is a guy hiding in the bushes. Uh, let's thrust. Hit him, but he got some chain mails to protect him. Forty-five percent, forty-five percent chance. But does any of them have a shield? No, doesn't look like it. All right, but this guy got some scratches on his armor, so let's keep hitting him. Fortunately, that's a miss. I mean, he is butt naked almost. So, kind of want to kill that guy if possible. Let's move here. 70% chance to hit this guy. 75 to hit him. What is your repose? Prepare to immediately counterattack any opponent that attempts to attack in melee and misses. It's pretty good, I guess. But I, I guess I want to just hit this guy first. With his big armor and everything like that. Just need to do damage to him. So if we move here, oh, we, yeah, right. So he missed our attack, but that still means we got both of them locked down pretty much. Let's try and bash. Oh no, because he's one tile further than I thought. Dang it. So there was no need for us to move over. Well, let's try. We got an injured shoulder out of it. That's good. 23% chance or 36. Yeah, he missed. But he did a one shot, one kill kind of thing before. So. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. But we at least have good chance to hit on this guy. He got a sprained ankle. Alright, so let's... Focus up on this guy again. Dang it, two misses. Raising his shield. We need to take out this guy to ease off the pressure on him. Here we just need to do damage. Another sprained ankle. These guys are absolutely no help so far. Come on, get away from him. Good. Uh, 
Let's try and see if we can hit this guy. That's a good hit. Graced kidney. That sounds horrible. Back a little bit. And he got a injured shoulder. Ah, oh, we lost one. No! I really wanted to get out of this without any deaths, but unfortunately it couldn't have been that way. I think we're still giving better than we're receiving, so that's good. See if we can get him down. That's another one down for the count. It's beautiful that you lower your spear and everything, but you should do something with it as well. 33, 30. Yeah, let's hit its shield, unfortunately. I think you should move up. 79%, 84. It's a good hit, it's a good hit. Alright, so... We probably should take a step back and just shoot a random arrow, more or less. Yeah. Didn't expect too much from it. At least we're behind his beautiful spear. Spear wall. Hit him once, hit him twice, nice. Okay, so let's see if we can kill him and then do another beautiful slash on him. Oh, we died because he tried to run away, I guess. We got a free attack. It's the only thing I can think of why he would die. That's not good. Get out of here. Ah, I got it on his shield. So this guy needs some help. I think they can handle themselves. So let's go here and help him out a little bit. He tries to run away as well and gets hit. Let's finish him off. Uh, move this kind of way. Guess we're lucky. Uh, do you have inventory? Yeah, you do have a knife. So let's switch to a knife. A well-placed attack at the opponent's armor squeaks for the noise. All armor is hard to hit with and cannot land critical hits. I don't think his armor is that much of a problem, I guess. Shield is pretty much the biggest problem. 22, 37% hit chance. Unfortunately, it didn't. Well, got the hit in there. You and your spear wall, that hasn't done anything for us. Another one gone. One left. I mean, if we only lose one of our men, I think that is not that bad. Ooh, wow. Pierce cheek. So he put his knife in his cheek. Oh, that's horrible. Man. And there it is. We have killed him. But Heinrich, you shall be re you shall be remembered. Our first new recruit. But everybody else leveled up. So that's good. Got some loot. Oh dang it. I I left the loot, didn't I? Well, that's stupid. That's really stupid. 
But that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode we'll re arrive in Sexdorf and hopefully I will not forget to take our loot with me next time. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.